Uh, I will now give the floor to the representative of the Institute for Reporters' Freedom and Safety. Thank you, Mr. President. I'm Azerbaijani anti-corruption activist, living and work, unfortunately, the last few years in exile. We would like to address you today under this item to express our deep concern over the recent arrest of political prisoners from the civil society who have been detained for their involvement in anti-corruption activities. Individuals dedicated to the noble cause of the fighting corruption, often at great personal risk, are being subjected to imprisonment and persecution. This raised serious concern about the prosecution of human rights, freedom of expression, and the right to participate in civil society without fear of reprisals. Civil society plays a pivotal role in advocating for transparency, accountability, and rule of law. When individuals from civil society, including activists and advocates, are targeted and imprisoned for their anti-corruption efforts, it not only undermines the principle of justice, but also stifles the very essence of democratic societies. Some brave anti-corruption fighters like Alexei Navalny and Vladimir Karamurza, despite the poisoning with a chemical weapon, still continued the anti-corruption fight in their country. Both are in incarcerated now, their whereabouts are unknown, and their health and life are in the great risk now. Their lawyers are subjected to harassment or prosecution. If the resolute actions are not taken by member states to put pressure and release their activists, they may face the same fate as Sergei Magnitsky. The incarceration of the Mr. Navalny has garnered international attention and raised serious questions about the protection of human rights, freedom of expression, and rule of law in his own country. As a prominent figure of the Russian civil society and vocal critic of corruption, Mr. Navalny has played a significant role in advocating for transparency and accountability. We also want to raise awareness around the case of Vladimir Karamurza, Russian anti-corruption activist and advocate that managed to promote the law similar to Magnitsky in, here in the U.S. and, and around the Europe and other like-minded states. Same arrests are now taking place in my country of origin. These past weeks have been marked by arrests of dozens of journalists and anti-corruption activists that have been criticizing the government, among them our colleagues, Hafiz Babale, Sevinj Vagif Kazi, Gubadi Badoglu, Nargis Absalamova, and many others. We urge the delegations of these countries to review these cases promptly, ensuring that the rights of those detained are fully respected in accordance with the international human rights standards. So far, the arrest of individuals who have been detained solely for their anti-corruption activities is sending a powerful negative message about these countries' commitments to uphold democratic values and protecting the rights of its citizens. With this, see to what extent the stiffing civil society correlates with the level of corruption in the country. By releasing the anti-corruption activists, the respective governments will reinforce their dedication to fostering an environment where the civil society can treat contributing positively to the nation's development and the global fight against corruption. We also advise member states to modify their legislation for whistleblowers and include investigative journalists in the protections and remunerations programs. It is essential to support the work of the investigative journalists who has usually become the first target in their anti-corruption investigations against the kleptocratic regimes. It's a crucial to increase and develop institutional support for investigative journalists and media watchdog organizations, as well as to provide additional security protocol as a life insurance programs to make sure their work can be continued in the safe environment.
We thank you for your attention to this matter. We trust that your commitments to justice and human rights will guide the actions taken in the response to our concerns. I thank you.